Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. This kangaroo's attacking me. So you want to know how to fight a kangaroo? <laughs> First, you shake their hand and agree to a fair fight. And after a quick kiss, we brawl. Stand up, push them back. Now don't be intimidated when they bite you or kick you. You simply have to just bite and kick them back. <laughs> Oh. Just wait till he's six foot, 200 pounds. Is that Kevin? <laughs> oh. Oh. How to pick up a duck. Part three, common problems and mistakes. So you've found yourself a duck, but you find yourself chasing after it. It always runs away when you try to pick it up. Don't do this. If you're behind, that should remind you that that's wrong. If you chase a duck, it'll run. So get in front of the duck and introduce yourself and state your intentions. Hello, duck. My name is Human Name, and I'm going to pick you up now. Place your hand firmly underneath the duck, palm side up, and lift. Congratulations, you're now holding a duck. Get set. Go! Place is something new. Put the damn beaver in the water. I hear it when I look at you. The most dangerous animal on this planet. A violent creature filled with hateful thoughts and a lust for blood. Teeth like razors to suck the meat from your bone. Yes, when all is said and done, she is a killer. The choice is yours. <laughs> No. No.
No. No. <laughs> a family found this beehive on their backyard fire pit and they called me to give the bees a new home, so I started to carefully remove each piece of the hive. These bees didn't have very much honey, but it looked like they had a strong queen because this hive was full of baby bees. Each piece of comb I removed was full of eggs, larvae, and brood, and there were even some baby bees starting to emerge from their cells. So I worked as carefully as I could to put everything into these wooden frames, and whatever I took from the fire pit went right into the new hive for the bees. I still had not yet seen the queen, so after I put the last piece of comb into the new hive, I started scooping bees up with my hands. I was looking for the queen and trying to get the bees into the new hive, when all of a sudden I saw the queen hiding on the side of the fire pit. So I put her in the new hive, then I gave the bees some smoke and I waited for the bees to follow their queen. After the bees went into the new hive, I took them home and it was another great day of saving the bees. I can't bring my five on shampoo, but she can bring a whole peacock. Is that a service animal? Yeah. How do we examine a turtle that doesn't want to come out of its shell? Gently placing it on a cup will sometimes do the job. Where'd he go? Are you gonna jump? Don't jump! Pussy.